Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will continue our sign up activity code. So, before that, I want you to move this code into application class of our activity. So, cut this and create new application class by right clicking Java class. Uh, name it anything. So, and application. So, uh, okay and extend the application class so in the app on create method of the application class you will we will paste that code so generate on create method this is override method on create so okay so paste the code here so what we did is the uh, objects on where uh, of the uh, application class remain initialized during the whole life period of the activity and so we want this to initialize only once but throughout the whole act activity when we will make call to the backend parts we want this to be initialized so it is better to copy this in the application class now the set let's name of the our application is class is home application so let's edit this in manifest here is our application let's name it android name dot so home application okay save this so this one change and i want you to uninstall our app I have already uninstalled but uh, if you have that then make sure you uninstall that and then again run this because at the starting we have created a uh, demo code to uh, run test our app and if you remember we have clicked the test button and for that we have uh, written some bunch of code that uh, set username equal to my name set uh, password something and something like that so uh, for now we are in a uh, we are making assumption that user is null but the user on the phone is not null so to make him null means to clear the user we have to uh, uninstall app so make sure you have uninstalled app i have already uninstalled and now continue make sure you have uninstalled app or you uh, on testing you test on the new fresh install okay so make sure you have uninstalled app and then uninstall again and add this testing so what where was i uh, so let's create sign up <clears throat> when user will sign up on uh, click of sign up button so let's initialize the on click here so i have um, so sign up button is submit here i have initialized in it submit so submit set on click listener pass new on click listener okay so here so let's go to the parse.com uh, parse.com slash docs that's android slash guide in users in signing up here is the code we have already initialized at the starting but let's see in the brief we have to create object of the parse user class we have to set username set password as the method that get parameters of uh, string and user dot sign up in background is the method that will perform our task so let's do this parse user user new parse user user dot set username user dot set password so this will take a string input but we don't have string we have edit test input so I have already written that let's take two strings I will write again for you string st username and st password so let's on let's give value of edit text in the on click method because it will give us the value of that edit text in a string at fresh value of the on click when user click on click when then it will give just i write i know i think you got my point if we write here 
if we get value here so what what is the ht username is equal to uh, what was that username dot get text dot to string and ht password is equal to <coughs> password dot get text dot to string what uh, okay what it will perform it will just uh, initialize the blank value because on on create there is nothing in those editors so instead of here we will um, assign value here and let's pass the this value ht username here and ht password here okay so we are done now we will initialize the that sign up in okay what was that sign up in background method user dot sign up in background let's call back okay so on dot if exceptional if exception is null means we are doing all right if exception is equal to null we are doing all right and else we are not doing right or there is a problem so let's display a toast message make test let's pass the context sign up dot this the string we want to display you are in and length length dot show let's copy this in else part and let's uh, paste here not used to this keyboard okay there is an error okay so we are done but if uh, we are done with uh, signing means sign up is successful then it should redirect us to the main activity so let's do that intent intent is equal to new oops new intent from sign up activity to main activity let's intent dot add flags intent dot flag new task and intent dot what what i was intent dot clear sorry huh. intent dot sorry flag clear task okay i was mm, okay so people my neighbors are shouting i don't know what that's why i'm distracted okay so uh, let's continue intent uh, so okay let's start intent so okay okay so what it will done it will uh, add flag for we are uh, starting new task and it will the flag add uh, flag for we are clearing the earlier task so it will good for the main thread because we, we are running on the main thread and it is not uh, ideal to give load on the main more load on the main thread because there is less memory in android and uh, what is so start activity pass this intent okay so we are done so 
we are done with sign up java sign up activity but uh, sign up activity will never call because our launcher activity is main activity so in main activity we have to set some code we have to initialize if the current user is null then hey android redirect me to or take me to the uh, sign up activity so let's create a parse user parse user is equal to current user is equal to parse user dot get current user parse provide very much inbuilt functionality we don't have to do anything if current user sorry if 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 current user is equal to null then if current user is null then where is my sign up activity i will paste this code here from main activity dot this to sign up activity dot class i think i don't have to set flags here so save so what it will done it will let's initialize then it will see if current user is null then it will redirect us to sign up activity so i think this should work let's run this so it will run here what's the current status device offline okay so we are, it has run so let's enter username anything and password anything wait uh, okay okay let's run this for now click sign up so you are in okay so this is how we do sign up button we will add lit thanks for watching we will continue this to the next tutorial thank you